Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. So now you you have acted in uh, home videos and soap operas, you know. Which of them do you prefer? Which of the two are you more most comfortable? Um, sincerely, I must say I am comfortable in both. Okay. But it's just that you have an advantage if it's television, because okay. um, on television you can make mistakes and it will be corrected. But on stage, you better don't try nonsense. Because once the mistake is there, it can be corrected. No, hell no. You live with okay. it. And of course, the director will be mine. Okay. So they, have, they both have their advantage and disadvantages. Okay. All right, now, do you agree with those who say um, that your best rule in the soap opera was uh, in a uh, Fuji uh, house of commotion. We are all entitled to our opinion. To them, maybe, yeah, Fuji house it is. It's not that. So which one is your favorite? That's talking about soap opera now. For me, soap opera, I think um, it will be um, mind-bending. Okay, mind-bending mind by bending. Lola... Mind yes. bending by Lola Fanica. Fanica okay. All right. Yes. And right. now uh, Albert and Albert Egbe's um, Jaguanana's daughter. Okay. Now, would you also agree with those who say your best role in home video was in living in bondage? I agree. Okay. Now, of all the roles that you have played in your entire career, which one is the most memorable and why? Honestly, as well, I must say, most of my roles are, to me, they are memorable, really. They are because I, I need, my I need best. One, the one that is most. I know that all of them are memorable, but the most memorable For one me, and why? All memorable. I put in my best, but the one I will say, oh, mm -hmm, oh well, it's unforgettable. Is um, skinny girls, skinny girls, skinny girls. Translate. All right, all right. Now, as uh, one of the pioneers of. Nollywood, I need you to tell us your story. How did you get involved with that home video that's talking about living in bondage that defined that redefined the, 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 the movie industry in Nigeria and even in, in Africa as a whole? Um, okay, actually, okay, let me let me just um cut it short. Um, living in bondage came about, I was at the National Theatre, we're having a stage play, and um, I was with some people, you know, there's this uh, place at uh, National Theatre that they call the famous, and then somehow, I think uh, Obi Molube was talking about a production, and she was like, why don't you try so-so people, I think they might have a role for you, and I'm like, okay, what's really going on there, and she said, okay, she's going the next day, if I can follow her, I said, okay, fine. I went there, and uh, when um, Kenneth uh, Nebo, neck video links, when he saw me, he gave me a script with okay, Ubunji or four, and before you, before we knew what was happening, boom, I'm neck deep into it, and that's how we came about living in bondage. Okay. So, how did you feel about the humongous success of living in bondage i mean when you people were shooting it or when you were recording the film you didn't know that it was going to be such a huge uh, um production you know so when when it came out and it became a massive hit how did you feel really it, it, living in bondage was an experiment okay you know then we had um before living in bondage um the cinema the 16 mm and then um, the yorubas they had them um, this their um, yoruba plays with um vhs and all that so living in bondage was kind of okay let's just do something let's give it a try if i tell you that living in bondage i i didn't earn money you won't believe it so when it was mm. a hit 
Wow. I was like, wow. You didn't make any money from living in bondage. No. Why? You want to pay that artist fee or you just chose to ask for free? Living in bondage, part one. We never, we all did it on, we want to try and see the outcome. We all gave it our best shot. And it came out really well. When it now came out well and we were like, okay. We're going to do living in bondage part two. Okay, now, now I need the money. And that's where the story mm. came in. If you noticed, you will see that living in bondage part two, it was not all of us that did part one, that took part in part two. Okay. So while they were no. doing a uh, part two, I, okay, we had left uh, living in bondage crew. We now uh, formed our own sort of company then. That was where we produced um, Evil, was it Evil Passion? We produced Evil Passion. Before okay. that, I think the one that was sponsored by JBM. On you or... Evil Passion was sponsored by JBM. Yes, yes. Okay.